What's up everyone, Tate down here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the games that I wish I had as a kid. Now, not only am I going to be talking about games that came out back when I was a kid that I never got a chance to play, but also some current modern day games that I wish I had back when I was a kid because I would have absolutely loved them. Let's get right into this video. <music> So up first is my favorite game on the PlayStation 4, and that is Spider-Man. I absolutely love this game. You guys know that I talk about Marvel all the time. I love anything Marvel, I love Spider-Man, and this game was amazing. I remember playing back on the PlayStation 1, or maybe even PC, a Spider-Man game, and the mechanics were okay back then, but they really upgraded with the modern technology of video games the gameplay of the Spider-Man game. The mechanics of just something simple like web slinging was amazing and so on point and something that I actually haven't seen in a video game in forever and I absolutely love that. The combat aspect of the game was also amazing with the different gadgets that you can unlock throughout the game for Spider-Man was a lot of fun and the story itself was so in depth. I absolutely love the story of Spider-Man and it is an easy platinum. I think I earned the platinum within two weeks, but that's because I dove into the game and I just started playing the game and only that game because I loved it so much. So I put all my other games on hold and only started to play this game. This game was amazing and it's something that's when I was a kid, if this game came out, it wouldn't be too challenging to be able to pick up the mechanics and still would have been a lot of fun, but this game is definitely the top game that I wish when I was a kid I got to play, but I'm so glad I got to play it now, and it only came out a couple years back. The next game is another modern day game, and that is Horizon Zero Dawn. I think that the whole story aspect of this game, that you're basically, it's kind of like, the past where it's all bow and arrow but it's with machines and they're the enemies and of course humans as well but that whole aspect of bow and arrow along with the machines as being the monsters and the animals among the worlds I think that whole aspect is very amazing and I think if I was a kid playing this game it would have been a lot of fun and it would have blown my mind now I absolutely love this game I'm not I don't even think I'm halfway through the game, but this game is so, so fun that I wish that it came out when I was a kid so I could have experienced it when I was younger as well. And this game is a lot of fun. If you haven't played it, I absolutely recommend it because it is one of the games that the story is on point, the gameplay is on point, everything about this game is amazing. The next game is a game that did come out back in, I think, 2005 on the PlayStation 2 and other consoles, but back then it is a game that I missed out on. However, they did remake it back in 2020, and that's whenever I played this game for the first time and I absolutely fell in love with it. That is Destroy All Humans. I absolutely love this game. Game. It's a lot of fun and a lot of fun just to go and basically dick around with. If I don't want to go and play the missions, I can just go and have fun with all of the things that your alien can do. It's a lot of fun. Just all the destruction with the spaceship, all of your probing and all the weapons that you have. It is a crazy funny game and I think the time period is back in the 50s or 60s according to all the vehicles and everything or maybe even earlier but the concept of the game is amazing and I love the story I love the missions now of course the version that I played was the remastered version for the PlayStation 4 which came out in 2020 now that game has like it said it's remastered so the graphics are a lot better a lot of things are more improved now the remastered version you can go into the files and you can see images of what the original version looked like compared to the new version for things like vehicles, your alien, different buildings. So you get a comparison of what it looks like before and after it was remastered, which was a lot of fun. But I think even the original version, I think I would have had a lot of fun playing it back when I was a kid if I would have had the chance to play it back on the PS2 because I absolutely loved it and at least they remastered it and I got to play this game at this stage in my life. The next game is a game that I must say is not for everybody and that is a simulator game, Car Mechanic Simulator. Now, I'm a huge car guy, I love vehicles and I love 
car games because you can go and customize your cars and different things like that but this takes a real life aspect to it where you can totally go and strip a vehicle and rebuild it from scratch which was something that's if this game was out back when I was a kid I would have loved to play it because I always had um, when I was younger, I always went and took things apart. I always went and basically took things apart and tried to see if I could put them back together. So this game would be right up my alley back when I was a kid. And of course, back then even, I loved vehicles, I loved cars, and I think it'd be something fun that I would have loved to play when I was a kid. Now this game here, it's a little bit grindy to go and get the Platinum, and I did get the Platinum on the PS4 maybe a couple months back. But back when I was a kid, I would have likely only played this game to just go and have fun and play cars and basically build vehicles from scratch and that whole aspect to it. Not really trophy hunts, but more of just having fun on a game. And this game is definitely doable for that. And the last game we're gonna be talking about is a game that I did miss back when I was a kid. I think it came out around 2005 as well. I might be completely wrong with that, but it did get remastered for the PS4 as well back in 2020. And that game is SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Now this game here, Spongebob was a huge part of my childhood. I absolutely loved the show and I do remember playing a few video games of Spongebob but this game in particular I know I never got a chance to play. Whenever it got remastered it was on my radar and for Black Friday it became 50% off which is why I decided to purchase this game to kind of relive part of my childhood that I missed and this game was amazing. You basically go through Bikini Bottom and doing different missions and everything and it's something that you can easily get trophies for and it's a platinum that I'm able to eventually get. But I purchased this game mainly for part of my childhood because I loved Spongebob growing up. Never got a chance to play this game and I wanted to. Now after playing the remastered version of course the graphics are more enhanced but I think this game would have been a lot of fun playing it back in the day when it was released on the PS2. And I kind of wish I had the chance to play it back then, but I'm glad I got the chance to play it now. So these are the games that I wish I had played when I was a kid. Like I said, some of these games are modern games that I just simply wish came out back when I was a kid so I could have enjoyed them back then. But some are just simply ones that I missed back when I was a kid. Luckily, they were remastered later down the line and I'm so thankful I had the opportunity to play them as a remastered version. So comment down below, what are some games that you wish you had as a kid? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care, peace.